Tony here, uh, just making a quick video. This is going to be more or less like a quick update, along with some stuff going along Liberty. And I actually got some footage of Flames Fest, not a lot, but uh, some, which I'll show at the end of the video. Just want to sh uh, share a few things about what's going been going on here at Liberty. Uh, first off, Josh Woodrum is killing it in the NFL in preseason. Um, hopefully he might hold on to a roster spot and might get second string. It just all depends, but he's really doing well. Uh, so that's going well. Liberty football kicks off in one week uh, against uh, Baylor and Waco, Texas. Uh, start The start time is 7 p.m. It's on uh, Fox Sports 2. Uh, there's that. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited. The radio coverage starts at 5.30. Liberty right now um, with the former uh, football player Cam Jackson. The lawsuit, the Title IX lawsuit with him has proceeded and looks like he's going to win. Right now he is in good standing with Liberty. So if he chooses to, he can return to Liberty. Perhaps return to the football team or he can go anywhere else he chooses. That's happening. Just a lot going on. Uh, mostly positive stuff. Uh, the big thing that I really wanted to report on real quick is that Yurik uh, is out for the year with a torn ACL or MCL, I believe, in his throwing arm. But the big thing that I wanted to comment on is that Mason, I can't know his first, can't remember his first name, but is the new uh, backup quarterback for Liberty. Coach Gill said last week that he is going to play. So I don't know what that necessarily means. We know that Buckshot Calvert is our starting quarterback. Uh, Mason may play in the Baylor game or, you know, uh, if everything is going really bad, just to get some reps in. The only games I do see him playing is against Presbyterian, way down the road, and then our home opener against Moorhead State. But then again, I could be wrong. Just wanted to comment on that. I apologize for recording in the car. I was going to record here at Liberty, which I just got done raiding in Pokemon Go. I was going to film at the football stadium, but it started to rain and the weather was not looking good. The wind would just not help out with the audio here. Sorry guys, this was in the car. Just had to record this real quick. Uh, so this is, this is I'm going to stop talking. Enjoy some of the uh, you know footage from Flames Fest, some of the plays. Um, really quick, offense looked okay. Uh, Mason looked amazing. Uh, Damien King dropped a couple passes. Buckshot was rushed out a couple times. Um, didn't make some good throws. Uh, overthrew a couple people. Uh, you know, BJ Farrell dropped a pass, but... Uh, you know, it's preseason, not preseason, it's a scrimmage. It looked pretty good in some spots, but, it, you know, it doesn't really matter. It just shows you what the team can do. Anyways, enjoy the uh, the sights and sounds a little bit of the Flames Fest. This is Liberty Band 20. There we go. This guy is going to play this year. 